There are new revelations that have emerged surrounding Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server. Now, first and foremost, Hillary Clinton failed to turn over a key email that she was required to turn in. ABC News writes, Clinton failed to turn over a copy of a key message involving problems caused by her use of a private homebrew email server, the State Department confirmed Thursday. The disclosure makes it unclear what other work-related emails may have been deleted by the presumptive Democratic presidential nominee. The email was included within messages exchanged November 13, 2010 between Clinton and one of her closest aides. Deputy Chief of Staff Huma Abedin. At the time, emails sent from Clinton's BlackBerry device and routed through her private ClintonEmail.com server in the basement of her New York home were being blocked by the State Department's spam filter. A suggested remedy was for Clinton to obtain a state.gov email account. Clinton never used a government account that was set up for her, instead continuing to rely on her private server until leaving office. So to clarify, her use of a private email server was causing problems because when she was trying to communicate communicate with people in the State Department, well, the State Department's spam filter was seeing anything that came from clintonemail.com and it thought it was spam. So this email that she failed to turn in was about how she can fix this problem. So clearly that's work-related, but she failed to turn in that particular email, which is work-related. So even though this particular email itself is not really important, well, what it proves is that Hillary Clinton lied and failed to comply with the demands of the FBI because she was required to turn over any and all emails that were deemed work-related, but she was the official who got to do the deeming of what was work-related and personal. Uh, so she lied. She claims that she did turn over all work-related emails, and this very much proves that she did not do that. So this is why this is really damning, because it's a key email because it's work-related. Anything that's work-related was under review. We already had evidence that Hillary Clinton lied about multiple aspects of her email account, as I'll talk about in this video, but this proves, once again, that there's another lie regarding her use of a private email server. Now, ABC News continues, before turning over her emails to the department for review and potential public release, Clinton and her lawyers withheld thousands of additional emails she said were clearly personal, such as those involving what she described as planning Chelsea's wedding or my mother's funeral arrangements, condolence notes to friends, as well as yoga routine routines, family vacations. Clinton has never outlined in detail what criteria she and her lawyers used to determine which emails to release and which to delete, but her 2010 email with Abedin appears clearly work-related under the State Department's own criteria for agency records under the U.S. Freedom of Information Act. Now, just to remind you, Hillary Clinton contends that she did everything in her power to comply with the FBI in their investigation. So she said, you know, I was fully transparent. I handed over my entire hard drive with the emails. But what she doesn't tell you was that that hard drive was wiped clean. And when asked about whether or not she wiped her hard drive, she said, what, with a cloth? You were the official in charge. Did you wipe the server? What, like with a cloth or something? No. Well, you no. know how it works digitally. Did you try to I, wipe the whole server? I don't know how it works digitally at all. I do not so have you any. Try. You did not try. So clearly, she's not being transparent. She's lying about how she is being uh, complicit with the investigation. Now, they also found top-secret classified information on her email server that she generated herself. Now, with that in mind, you'll be shocked to know the second revelation. So according to the Associated Press, security that prevents email from being vulnerable was temporarily disabled, not just on Clinton's private email server, but on the State Department server as well. So the Associated Press explains, State Department staffers wrestled for weeks in December 2010 over a serious technical problem that affected emails from then-Secretary Hillary Clinton's home email server, causing them to temporarily disable security features on the government's own systems according to emails released Wednesday. The emails reviewed by the Associated Press show that State Department technical staff disabled software on their systems intended to block phishing emails that could deliver dangerous viruses. They were trying urgently to resolve delivery problems with emails sent from Clinton's private server. So let me reiterate to you what's went on so far. Hillary Clinton claims she did not send or receive classified information. That was a lie. It turns out she generated classified information. And not only that, security was actually disabled temporarily. I shouldn't have to explain why this is negligent and jeopardizes our national security. Now, Clinton claims that she never jeopardized national security in spite of the fact that she did generate classified information because 
her email server was never breached. But according to an independent audit conducted by the State Department's Office of Inspector General, well, they confirmed that there were multiple hacking attempts. In January of 2011, an IT worker actually shut down Hillary Clinton's private email server because he was afraid that it was being hacked. Now, Clinton also received infected emails disguised as speeding tickets, and it contained an attachment, according to the Associated Press. So if she would have clicked on that attachment, it would have allowed a hacker to take control of her computer. This is the Secretary of State we're talking about. Now, publicly, Hillary Clinton maintains that her server was never breached, but privately, well, the OIG audit confirms that not only did she acknowledge that she was afraid that her private email server was being hacked, but she literally chose not to report it to security officials, which is protocol. You're supposed to report to the IT security department if you believe that uh, your email has been compromised. She didn't do that. So not only did she lie about it not being hacked or jeopardized, she chose to break protocol and not even report it just so that way she can shirk transparency and not have anyone snooping in her email so they could find out that she's corrupt. This is unbelievable. Now, the third and final revelation makes this even more suspicious because Brian Pagliano, the former IT expert who actually set up her private email server, well, he answered virtually no questions during a roughly 90-minute deposition as part of an open records lawsuit this week. Aside from stating his name and saying three times that he understood procedural rules of the sworn oath interview, Brian Pagliano declined to say a single word other than to plead his Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination. Quote, on advice of counsel, I will decline to answer your question in reliance on my rights under the Fifth Amendment to the United States Constitution, he said on 130 occasions. Now, everyone has the right to invoke the Fifth Amendment, but the reason why you invoke the Fifth Amendment is because you're worried about incriminating yourself. This is a smart guy. I think that he as an IT expert, is probably articulate enough to speak clearly if he really wasn't guilty or if Hillary Clinton really wasn't guilty. But the fact that he invoked the Fifth Amendment 130 different times and declined to actually answer any of their questions, again, it's even more suspicious and is further proof of wrongdoing and negligence on Clinton's part. So if all of this is found in the FBI's investigation, then I would be absolutely astonished if they didn't recommend an indictment. Hillary Clinton not only lied multiple times, but she broke protocol, she broke the law, and she is not being transparent. So this is absolutely crazy. Uh, if you are a Hillary Clinton supporter and you don't know about this or you have cognitive dissonance, now is the time to actually pay attention because this could affect her in the general election if the FBI recommends an indictment in November or October or September. It's over.